Enterprise was hailed as the signal of a whole new era of space flight with a spacecraft that had wings and wheels and could land like an airplane, space flight would become much more routine. It was thought it would become part of our ordinary life, and that's what Enterprise symbolized. Enterprise was the flagship of the shuttle fleet that was to be built and as the first one built, it was primarily a test vehicle. It was used in 1977 for astronaut crews to practice final approach and landing. In 1985, NASA retired Enterprise and gave it to the National Air and Space Museum. At that time, we didn't have a place to show it off, so we kept it in storage until our Ubarhazi Center was built. And in 2003, we brought Enterprise into this new space hangar, cleaned it up, and it's been on display here now as one of the star attractions. Even before we built the building, we could visualize walking into this hangar complex and seeing Enterprise straight ahead. We envisioned the SR-71 Blackbird uh, in the foreground and the Space Shuttle Enterprise in the background, and the contrast between uh, the sleek, stealthy-looking black blackbird and um, the friendly-looking white spacecraft, the space shuttle, was in our minds all along. The space shuttle program is ending largely because the shuttle's job is done. Uh, the shuttle was designed to be a big cargo carrier to be able to take satellites and observatories into orbit and ultimately to build a space station. And that space station now exists. The plan is for the orbiter Discovery to come to the National Air and Space Museum. If that happens, we will need to find a new home for Enterprise. And what we're anticipating is that at some point in the near future, Discovery will be flown to the airport here at Dulles on the back of the 747 carrier aircraft. Um, Discovery will be unloaded and Enterprise will be backed out of the hangar and installed on top of the same 747 carrier aircraft and it will be flown to a new destination. But we're sure that Enterprise will have a long life in another organization uh, where people can enjoy seeing the first space shuttle.